All right, folks, so here we go. I'm back again. It's been a while. I know I haven't been shooting enough video, and I apologize about that, but one thing I, I just wanted to go over real quick was the beginning of this video is actually a week later from the rest of the video because when I shot it, I just had gotten this new mic. Uh, vi actually, I got a Shure mic and a camera, and I, I just... Didn't realize how much was into like syncing things up in it. Right now, I, I lost so much video, it was, it, it was horrifying. Anyways, I just did a full build. Obviously, you'll be seeing that in the next few minutes. I was going to go with the Corsair D5000 case. I ended up going with the 4000 version. I got such a good deal on it, and after looking at them, they were almost identical. The case was all blacked out. I ended up going RGB, but if somebody... Whoever purchases this that doesn't want the RGB, I will put all the black fans back in it. Or they can do it themselves. So what we have is we have the Corsair D5000 case. I love the filters on it and everything. Underneath side, plenty, plenty of breathing. Plenty of breathing. The only thing I'm not fond about is I did a vertical mount, find, fond about. It definitely doesn't leave much room for breathing myself i never put a cover on the side of my case but if the person who purchases it wants to go horizontal no problem we'll get it fixed if they like to keep the glass on the side no problem i was always hoping that and i might try this myself is having something laser cut out and something like a nice mesh to cover it so it can pull air through on the sides I'm sure these companies have tried it. I don't know how it works. Anyways, let's get on with this. The case itself, it's a um, ATX mid-tower. You have your power plug on the top. I, think I, I could like tip it and show you all that stuff, but you know what it looks like. So we got the plug. It has. It's funny because the USB on it is yellow. I'm sure it's 3.2 or whatever it is that they're out with, 3.1. No, 3.2. And it has a USB-C. It has a multi-purpose 3.5 jack in it and you have a, a restart the fronts all ow that hurt the fronts all mesh obviously and in the back as you can see it, it's wi-fi it has a 2.5 ethernet it has your typical 3.0 usb uh, 3.0 usbs your 2.0s it has a USB-C on it, and you have, obviously, the, if you want to go with integrated graphics and not dedicated, it's got the HDMI and display on there, so I don't know who would want to do that, but, well, video cards are getting a lot easier to get, so, yeah, you know, people were doing it for a while. Okay, so, inside, the guts, the guts. The guts. Yeah, you can see I had to move my mic. I got a Shure mic over there. Love the thing. I put the pod over here. This is going to be gone because I have another mic specifically made for this. And I don't care if my mic is seen in the picture. Don't bother me none. I think it actually looks better. Some people want to do that uh, Hollywood movie version where it's out of sight, out of mind, hanging over the head. Well, you guys know this ain't a movie. Anyways. I like the off-white with the gray trim. I think it's really a nice looking case. Uh, it has a MSI Z690 carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. I was going to go with the 12900K, but after looking at reviews and, and whatnot, the 12600 will pretty much move anything out there, and it actually neck and neck would like this 59X. So I ended up going with the 12600K Intel chip. It's been a long time since I've done an Intel. I went with a water cooling system, 360 millimeter EVGA. I really like that pump. I think it's really nice looking. So it has three fans in the front, two on the top and one in the back. The three in the front are pulling air through pushing air through so you get the coolest air going through the radiator. 
the fans on the top and the back are blowing out. So I think it's going to have good, really good air circulation. It has an EVGA 3070 FTW3 video card. It has a 500 gigabyte Samsung. I wasn't. I didn't want to do this. They sent me the wrong one, but I ended up putting it in. I wanted to put a one terabyte M.2. They ended up sending me a 500 Samsung, but it's a 4.0 X16. Here we go. Woo! In the video, I didn't realize it, but I was thinking Intel was still going with with um, PCI Express. 3.0, but they're not. This is all 4.0. That's why I'm glad the ribbon on that is a 4.0 ribbon. I was almost going to put a 3.0, so I've got the 4.0 ribbon on there. And 5.0 is right around the corner. So we have that. We have G-Skill memory, 32 gigabytes, DDR5, 5600. I was going to put four sticks and bring it to 64, but... I seen a video that Jay was talking about where he was trying it and until they get a BIOS update to fix this issue, for some reason on a lot of these boards you can't run four sticks. Yeah. Especially if it's like 64 and up or something he was talking about. Be on the safe side, I want with 32. So, I think that about covers everything on it. Water cooled. 360 millimeter radiator, 3070 FTW3, 4.0. Oh, it's also going to get a 1 or a 2 terabyte SSD on the inside. I'm waiting for those to come in. The board itself takes 5 M.2s. Crazy. Crazy. Another thing about vertical mounting, it kind of takes away a lot from the board when it comes to if you want to put things in. The other bays, the rest of them are like 4.0 X8, and then the bottom one is X4, I think. So I'm just trying to remember these specs. Anyways, so that's what we got. So that AMD build that I did, the uh, small Cooler Master NR200, one of the subscribers bought it. Absolutely loved it. Sold it to him for exactly my price. What I paid for everything, and I'll do that for anybody, and I'll even take care of the shipping. Everything in, that's in here, all I want to do is recoup the money if you're a subscriber. If you're not, it just doesn't work that way. If you're a subscriber, you get it for my price, period. So, anyways, we're going to cut this shot. This whole video is going to be too long. It's a long one. I haven't been doing enough. I've got to get back on doing shorter, more, re more, more, more videos. Um, it's just I redid this whole room again. And, and I'm just not happy with anything until I get it the way I want it. And so that's what I'm going to keep doing is redoing it. But I think I've got it almost 90% the way I want it. It's actually, it's a big U-shape now, desk. As you can see, I'm on one side. I left enough room. Built, had picked up a desk, but had it set up so it's, an L in this corner and that meets up in the middle and an L that goes over there. I could give you a little rundown, but just picture like a big H shape with the line going through at the top. Um, tons of space, tons of space. I love this setup. I can actually stand in back of something and talk instead of standing in front of it and doing it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber and you're watching this video, subscribe. I hope you like the content, and I hope you come back for more. And I want to thank all my subscribers that are still with me. I know I don't have a big following, but at least I'm happy to have a loyal following. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions, and I have gotten some, and I always get back to people. If you have any questions, feel free. You're not bothering me. I will get back to everyone who writes me. I'm not, I don't want to say no names, but I know a lot of people that don't even respond anymore. They've grown out of that. Good for them. I grow slow. You can see I'm only not that tall. 
Anyways, everybody, it's Saturday. I want to go out and get some breakfast. I hope you all have a good day. Stay safe. And we'll see you in the next video.